to you. I'm glad you're here. Nice to see you. Great to see you as well. Well, thank you all for being here today. I'd like to thank the Prime Minister for uh, taking some time to chat with me before I'm sure a very busy stampede schedule. I hope you enjoy well, we're it. We're all busy at stampede. <laughs> no That's kidding. It. But of course, we do have some serious things that we need to discuss. I had sent a letter to the Prime Minister saying that we'd like to bring our emissions reduction and energy development plan with the uh, target of carbon neutrality by 2050 in alignment with some of the objectives of the federal government. And that will require us to have some conversations about three areas that I don't think we have agreement uh, on yet, but I hope to. We would like to establish a working group so that we could talk about how we might be able to achieve a net zero power grid, but I've uh, indicated to the Prime Minister that that is not possible by 2035, which is the, the federal target. We've to been told that by our experts here. Uh, we also know that an emissions cap uh, or emissions reduction, such as the one that's been proposed, of 42% by 2030 would also result in essentially a production cap, which we don't think is uh, realistic or feasible as well. And we know that um, the government had negotiated Article 6 into the Paris uh, Climate Accord, which should allow for us to get a credit here for reducing emissions abroad. And we would like to be able to work with the, our partner in British Columbia and the government in order to be able to reduce emissions and get, and get credit here through LNG export. And of course, I've also sent him, uh, given him a letter to take away on my, our request that, we, that Parliament be recalled so that we can uh, put an end to the port strike in, uh, in, in BC, which is causing extreme hardship to our producers and our exporters here. Thank you, Mr. Well, thank you very much, Premier Smith. It's uh, great to see you again. Uh, great to be here at uh, Stampede, a great opportunity to uh, celebrate this extraordinarily vibrant city and the best of Western uh, pride and heritage and culture. It's uh, really a great, uh, great moment to be here where uh, the country descends on, on, on Calgary, and it's, uh, it's been a lot of fun already. Um, I want to start by, of course, uh, recognizing there's still thousands of people uh, who've been evacuated from their homes across, uh, across Alberta. Um, the Premier and I have been working on responding uh, over the past uh, weeks and months to the wildfire situation, and uh, we'll continue to be there as, as necessary as first responders and, and uh, firefighters from around the world are helping out here in communities. Um, I'm glad to be sitting down to speak with the Premier about uh, how we create great jobs and grow the Alberta economy, because that's of tremendous benefit, not just to people here in Alberta, uh, not just to the country's economy as well, although it is significantly, but also in generating solutions for the world. Uh, Alberta has long been an extraordinarily innovative leader in providing energy uh, to the, the continent and indeed the world, and uh, the kinds of uh, innovations, whether it's around hydrogen, whether it's around chemicals, whether it's around a range of things, uh, solar, renewables, all sorts of really, really exciting things going on uh, here in Alberta that we're extremely supportive of and looking forward to working together. Um, You've highlighted one of the one of the great uh, achievements that we're looking towards, uh, which is this working group, uh, where we will be able to sit down and really look at what our experts are saying, what your experts are saying, figure out the common ground, figure out the path forward that's going to make sure we're responding to the energy needs of a growing uh, economy around the world, while at the same time making sure we get to that net zero by 2050 that we all agree on. There's lots of things to work through, but I can say there's been a really uh, positive and constructive working relationship uh, between our ministers and our folks uh, from the very beginning. So uh, we're uh, looking forward to keeping up on that. Uh, and of course, uh, we'll be talking briefly about the BC uh, strike as well. I know how impactful it is on producers across the prairies, including here in Alberta. Um, I, it will be, uh, we believe fundamentally that the best deals are always found at the bargaining table and we will keep putting a, a lot of pressure on all parties uh, to find that solution that I know is out there. Uh, but I also also know uh, that pressure is mounting day by day and people are really, really worried uh, about things, what could look like next week and uh, we are as well. So I'm really pleased to be here today, looking forward to this conversation.